Okay, let me start. My name is Yang Guangtian. I'm from Singapore University of Technology and Design. I'm going to present a research paper called Policy-Based Kamlin Hash with Black Box Accountability. Now, before I go to a proposal, let me briefly explain three research questions. First, what's the motivation of blockchain writing? Blockchain writing is used to correct or remove some illicit contents, contents recorded in the blockchain without breaking the link of the hash chain. The illicit, illicit contents may include some compromised secret keys or inappropriate video, video clips. This concept was introduced by Antonis in Euro S&P 2017. The second question is how significant of this research? My answer is that blockchain writing was required in some data recognition laws, such as GDPR. In GDPR, the user is has the right to be forgotten. The last question is, what's the research impact? My answer is to enlarge the application domain. Now, let me show you the outline of this presentation. First, I'm going to show you the state of the art, which is the fine grain blockchain writing. This concept was introduced by Dora et al. in NDS 2019. The second uh, part is to introduce a proposal, which is the fine grained accountable blockchain writing in a permission setting. Now, let me go to the first part. What's the fine grained blockchain writing? Well, as you can see, this figure there is a transaction owner and a modifier. The owner simply creates a transaction. At the same time, he will attach uh, an access policy to this uh, uh, transaction. Later on, the transaction modifier with an attribute based credential is allowed to rewrite this particular transaction. Basically, we are talking about attribute based access control. We assume each modifier has a set of attributes. We call it attribute based credential. The key point here is if a modifier is credential satisfies the access policy associated with the transaction, then the modifier can rewrite this transaction. Let me show you the system level scenario. As you can see, there are three different type of parties, owner, modifier, and authority. Any user in the system is allowed to record anything that they want into the blockchain. Only a small number of modifiers are allowed to rewrite the blockchain because they have rewriting privileges. And these rewriting privileges are given by the attributed authority. Only attributed authority is allowed to handle the dispute over the modified transactions. Now, the next thing is to show you how to use Kamlin hash in blockchain rewriting. As you can see, there are four transactions inside block of BI, T1 up to T4. For transaction T1 and T3 are the multiple ones because we hash these transactions using Kamlin hash function. And for each transaction, there is an access policy. The output includes two, part, two values. One is Kamlin hash value, Kamlin hash output value. The other one is randomness R. Sometimes we we'll call, we we'll also call it track string. For generating the marker tree, we we take the Kamlin hash output edge as the input. And the and later on, if a modifier wanted to modify transaction T1, the modifier must, must replace R by R prime. This is the basic idea of blockchain writing. Now let me talk about the second part of this presentation. What's accountable blockchain rewriting? The motivation is quite clear. We wanted to sort transaction modifier from malicious rewriting the blockchain. We know that we know that the attribute based access control is a one to many solutions, which means that for each multiple transaction, there could be multiple modifiers with different privileges satisfy the same policy. This is not desired when it comes to 
blockchain rewriting because the modifier A may rewrite the transaction and later on she can deny it because the modifier B or C can do the same thing. Based on this motivation, we introduce traceable attribute based access control. The benefit is to let attribute authority to resolve dispute over the modified transactions. One point, one point I want to stress is that we use attributed based encryption to enforce access control. So there is a key generation center. Because of this, the all proposal is suitable for permission blockchains, not, not the permission less ones. Now, let me talk about the technical challenges to propose this construction. First, we consider a stronger attacking scenario because we assume multiple modifiers may form an access device. We call it a black box. This black box may include different rewriting privileges from different modifiers. And this black box is given to the public. The consequence is any ordinary user can perform blockchain rewriting by using this black box. The second challenge is to ensure the safety exercise is a constant value, which is, means it must be independent of the number of the system users. A third challenge is to ensure the construction is efficient, which is suitable for blockchain applications. Based on these challenges, we particularly introduce attribute-based encryption with black box traceability, we call it ABET. ABET is the key building block to construct a proposal, which is the main technical contribution to a work. ABET is basically constructed from IB, attribute-based encryption and the hierarchy IB. Now, let me briefly show you how ABET works. For key generation, the modifier will get a decryption key from the authority, and the decryption key must have a unique index i. For encryption, the transaction owner must choose a hidden index g and generate a ciphertext. We call this hidden index g as ciphertext anonymity. I will skip it due to time limit because the self-test anonymity, anonymity is critical to black box traceability. And how to decrypt this self-test by the modifier? Two conditions must, must be met. One is modifiers attribute set satisfy the access policy embedded in the transaction. The second condition is the index G must be less than index I. We use hierarchy IBE to ensure the second condition. Now, let me give you a brief, a concrete example. Suppose the modifiers index equals to seven and the ciphertext index equals to 10. The modifier will delegate different decryption case for index eight, nine, up to 10, so that the decryption works. Basically, I'm talking about uh, we are using higher, the one-way delegation process to ensure the correctness of the de decryption. This is the high-level picture of ABET. Now let me talk about how to handle dispute by the attributed authority. Suppose that we gave two transactions and uh, an access the ballot box to authority then AA will perform the following operations. First step, AA will find the connection between the two transactions, which means an ori original transaction is linked to its modified version. The second point, second step is to find the accused modifiers from the access black box. We use ABET here. The last step is to link a modified transaction to a responsible modifier using AA's master security key. This is why we say AA authority is the only party to handle dispute. The last point I wanted to say that uh, the first two steps 
uh, public operations, which means any user can find a connection between two transactions and find the accuse the modifiers from the access black box. Now, let me talk about the performance of a proposal first. I claim that the, the safety test size is constant and that the running time is fast. For example, uh, just the require one second for hashing process, even if the policy size is 100. The second point I wanted to discuss is the impact to the existing blockchains. Our solution has no impact to mock tree generation and the train validation because we use Kamini hash output as the input to the mock tree generation. The second point is uh, AB, the storage, storage cost. We say that uh, the uh, proposal has a reasonable overhead because uh, the proposed, uh, the underlying ABET scheme is the most uh, practical one compared to the state of the art. Now, let me, let me briefly conclude this uh, work. First, we int introduce the first policy-based Kamini hash with black box accountability. Second, the proposed construction is practical enough, which is suitable for blockchain applications. Thanks for your time.